Okay, here we go. I decided to push through and do volume four, the best record of the bunch. Um, one of the best. Um, on the record player is the Sun, LA rehearsals, demo, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be buzzing in the back. So This is the last part of the incredibly huge long update. I hope I don't bore you too much. I fixed the lighting in this one a bit. Uh, because there was a lot of glare. I checked too late, but I'm not gonna do them again. First things first. Van update. Um, Buchfaust live records. There were three versions of this record. A clear, a black, I think a black one, and then a clear with splatter. I thought I ordered the clear with splatter, but I got the clear version. Doesn't matter. Um, nice Fold over heavy cardstock with some sil silver foil. This is uh, 95, uh, 59 out of 109. Just wipe on the inside. And this is the live uh, rehearsal, live recorded during Archeontic Arts in 2017. The third edition of that um, festival comes with two. Bad member Prince, Mr. Blitzer, there we go. And then, like I said, the clear version. Really great pressing of this one. Look, the mouth and the mouth. That's cool. So, yeah, we're fast. Can I reef about them any more than I already have in the past? I don't think so. They are just one of the better bands doing what they do and there aren't too many bands doing what they do so it's easy to be the best there is a chinky ass download code that is bothering me but it's gone so yeah oh fast really great to have this i think this was already pressed once for the fest itself or the, for the i'm not sure maybe it's a different live ritual i'm not sure about a lot of things the second one I picked up, which was in the same uh, update, was the Quad de Trousse, uh, first full length of the devil and the core of the Kankermoor, which means the devil and his filthy old cancer mother, I think. So, yeah. top title. This is the black and red edition. I thought that was the limited or the special one, but it seems that the black had an extra cover or an extra print, I'm not sure. But really glad I have this. I um, listened to the EP of these guys, the one with the horse blood stuff, um, a million times, and I loved the sounds. It is, I think, members of Urfaust, or I'm not sure, but yeah. Comes with this printed inner sheet, and it is, like I said, the um, crazy van pressing amber, red with black smoke. Uh, this is still available. I think even the distros still have this one. The um, Urfaust record is... That is gone, gone, gone. Um, so uh, this one is definitely worth checking out. If you are a fan of Urfaust but want something more rawer and dirtier, actually more dirty than raw, then this is your day god truce. It's a horse disease. Then, some Fatherland Pride, Munen of Xesbeth, Xesbeth, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Let's start with this one. The first full length is called Ancient Spells of Darkness on Nuclear War Now. Uh, Munen of Xesbeth is the perverted ceremony side project or side band that is kind of in the vein of what that band is doing because it's the same members. But then, um, ancient black metal it says here, so yeah, it is. there's also some of that Behirit stuff in here, but a little more on the melody side, a little bit more keys, um, front, back, love the simplicity of the artwork, the, uh, yeah, just the painting, but a cool painting. Yeah. Another one of the unclean spirits in the forest. Love, love this thing. I, uh, I also have the tape version, which is coming up, of course, in the... Um, weird. Uh, which
which is coming up in the tape delay. This is the Die Hard package, which is, I'm not sure if it's still available, but it get, it'll get a repress. I'm sure this is on that swamp green vinyl that I like. Standard pressing, nothing too special about it. Um, but yeah, like I said, nice record. Color fits the aesthetic of the rest of the art. So yeah, that forest, deep forest green. There was some shit in here. Oh yeah, there is a patch and a sticker that comes with that. So that's the first full length. Uh, I'm not going to go too deep into it sound-wise and stuff like that because uh, also not for this because the next one of the next videos is a Belgian black metal comprehension or, or a complete package which will include all the bands that that project has done or all the releases that those guys have. This is the um, Medieval Prophecy Records, a Belgian label did the Forever Rotting Winter previously on tape. Friends and family stuff only limited to, I don't know, 60. So this is the EP version or the 7 inch version of that one. Um, actually, nice little 7 inch. Black printed on red. Very nice pressing that comes with this lyric and photo sheet. And then there is a card for the Forbidden Temple demo that is coming out. Yep. Or has been or has been out. I'm not sure. And this is just a black seven inch forever into the beyond and cursed by rotting winter. Great edition. Uh, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to ever see the um, tape version. Um, also go into that deeper in the BEBM video. I have I had the shirt for the full length, but that's upstairs because I wore it today. I did get the the seven inch. If you get it from got it from the label, it came with the shirt. Just a plain simple logo. Love that shirt. Simple, simple shirt. It's not that hard. Then three, uh, I can't tell you much about because this is literally just this one just came in, and I got it for the Carved Cross Life Ritual. This is the Evo Mortis, um, like so. The second or the third package or pre-order package. They, um, yeah, fuck music. Um, they did so carve cross life ritual collection and then there is something i just picked up because it was there um I'm not even sure what it is and then this is triangle i think or spiral staircase once again <laughs> not sure these are the three records i desperately need to get into but um this is going to take some time i will do a label a comprehensive label video for these so yeah not going to talk about them right now and to keep this video a bit shorter um, then two in close proximity one is the obscure tatum with that title in bosnian i think and then the other one is candelabrum the new one with portals flip the record why not it is too silent otherwise there we go a little hissing in the back this is the second full length, I think. Um, they had the first full length, of course, of Repress, then they had the compilation with the demos and split stuff, and this is the second full length. Um, true Black Gang Green, they did the tape version, which I talked about. This is Black Gang Green and Altar Productions, both from Portugal, Bosnia, Black Twilight Circle. It's been a while. I, Keep mixing my circles up just black with a nice looking picture um yeah vampiric theme black metal one of the remaining bastions of that uh, sub genre it is it is a bit calmer on that subject um compared to the first full length which was just vampiric all over comes with this booklet Vampires again. So yeah, cool release. Um, searched for already. This uh, goes for like fifty. There, 
are popping, there are copies popping up here and there in this row, but they usually sell out instantly. Not much has changed sound-wise uh, with that one. What has changed is this one, Portals. I've listened to it three times now. I'm not going to go into if I like it or not. It is different than the than the first album or the first demos, which is good. It's There's progression in there. It's not the same sound. It is still Candelabrum, of course, but it's a different, kind of a different beast. Very minimal artwork. There's a poster with, I think, just the same image. Yes. So a lot of reusing of the image. But it's a cool package. This is the first press uh, on black, and there was instantaneous, instantaneously was a second press on white that uh, was that just was released. Um, Black Solis was the same way when they did um, their last record on Iron Bonnet. So good on good on them for foreseeing that they will would sell throughout a thousand copies in a matter of minutes. So yeah, Black Press and White Press of the Beast. This is going to take a while. This is going to take a while. Then a record I bought on credit at um, Ralph's record shop. Cheers to you, my man. I am dripping rum all over it. Septic tank with what's called Rotting Civilization. Members of Repulsion, members of Cathedral, smashed together, bringing homage to what they are doing, what their contemporaries of, of that time are doing, and then uh, smothering it with a modern twist. Um, this is on Rise Above. This is one of the Die Hard packages, and I completely missed this. I have their 7-inch, I love that one. And then Ralph told me he had two copies. He was going to keep one and then maybe try to sell the other one, but he just sold it to me. Guys on the back. Is there inserts? Yes, there is a poster. This is the like I said, Die Hard, and this is the normal cover. Wait, let me see that's upside down. Something more like this is the normal cover for the record. Um, so there is a standard version, and there is the that thing. Um, yeah, full record, man. Just more of the same uh, from these guys that uh, did the seven inch and. Nothing more, nothing less. This is the red version. This is actually a detail from the regular cover, that devil. This is the red version. There was a clear version and then a standard black. I think that's all there is. The Die Hard or the limited package came with a patch. And then a hand stamp 7 inch with two more tracks, which is always great. Born to Bleed and Shitstorm. And it's like this pretty tight in there. So yeah, a really cool record. Um, Ralph, thanks again for um, knowing that I would still grab it in the end. So uh, thanks for keeping it. It's what I'm saying, I guess. Septic Tank. That's it. Volume 4 in the books. Uh, that Liver Mortis could have been better, but um, I'll get to him. I'll get to him. I'll, get to him. I'll play him in the back. That carved cross will be great to talk over. Guys, thank you very much. I have talked enough. You know what's coming up when there's time. I'll be back. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the subs. I think it's because of Wyatt's new video <laughs> that I get a lot of subs. So, Wyatt, thanks again. Um, and for the rest of you, thanks for watching. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.